just finished my skincare routine. It's winding down for the night at this point. It's 7.30 right now and this is usually when I just start, you know, chilling. I already had my tea. That's a big part of my nighttime routine is drinking tea before bed. I think I'm going to take this off because I feel like these break my hair off. God. See, it's like already stuck in there. What I was going to say is I got the Cherosa 40. As I have to say, it lives up to the hype. So if you are debating on getting this, I would say definitely go for it. So it says the notes are black, amber, plum, and vanilla woods. And I definitely smell the vanilla woods. But also you can tell there's like a dark, musky scent in there somewhere. I think that's the black, amber, plum. So yeah, try it out. It's super good. This is the little planner I got from Target. It's like a, a weekly planner. So it doesn't have like a date or like a starting point. But isn't it just so cute? It's so perfect and has room for everything. I'll show you guys like what a blank page looks like. Page looks like. And so when I start next week, I will just rip this page off and start on a fresh page. So I don't know. I just love it. I'm so excited to be doing YouTube and just keeping up with you guys, showing you guys my routines and just my healthy habits that I've built. Definitely let me know content ideas that you guys want to see, and um, yeah. So I just made my coffee right here and um, I am ice rolling right now. I'm a recent ice roller girly. These have been going around on social media for so long, but I was like, I don't understand what it does. But now I understand the hype. It feels so good. It really helps me wake up in the morning. So I just use this for a few minutes. It helps with like de-puffing and stuff also. So if you get like puffy in the morning, this is your girl. I am just getting ready for work right now. It is 6.33 a.m. I start work at 7. I probably won't vlog much of my work day because I just work from home. It's pretty like straightforward and I'm just kind of sitting at my computer for eight hours. I will pick up the vlog camera after I'm off work and see what the rest of the day is looking like. I know I have a few things that I have to do after I get off today, so. Um, yeah, I will take you guys along for that. I'm sitting here and I'm looking at my content that I have filmed for um, TikTok and stuff and it's funny because sometimes you'll think you have no content to post but that's when like cre oh my god <laughs> I almost said creatine <laughs> that's when creativity like really comes into play I was like looking through my videos in this one video and I'm like trying to figure out how to do an exercise I'm using like a new attachment on the cables and it's like that stuff is so relatable because like everybody goes through that. Everybody goes through feeling like they look stupid trying to figure out something new in the gym. So I'm going to edit that one and post that one today. I do use the app Splice to edit all my TikToks. So that one is really good. I also heard CapCut is really good. So if you guys are interested in, you know, posting on TikTok, creating content, editing, then definitely check those two out. They're great. I love the editing style of like adding a whole bunch of cuts 
and like zooming in and out and stuff it's so it just makes it so funny and you feel like you're there because like as I'm doing this I'm thinking like oh my god the plate keeps moving or I don't know where to put the plate or I don't know where to put my foot and like I don't know it just makes it really funny to do the zoom in and zoom out so oh my god no I accidentally posted it I didn't mean to post it I don't know what mean to post that I don't know I know. I didn't get to add a, a caption. Okay, I'm gonna repost it because we cannot have that. Okay, so the annoying thing on this is I have a caption, but I only say like three words in the whole video, so it's taking forever for the words to come back up, and I'm trying to get them to the right size. I did it. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Pick a cover. So I honestly like. I just like to pick a flattering one, honestly. I'm gonna stick with like the one that it automatically gave me. And then I have to pick a caption. I'm gonna say so flabbergasted as <laughs> a caption. I always like to tag the brand that I'm wearing in the post just so, you know, helps with creating a relationship with them. And I just posted it. So my posting schedule is like, I don't know, it's weird. Like. I used to post like six videos a day and now I only post three, but I will spread them out. So I'll post one in the morning, one in like the middle of the day, and then one um, right before I go to bed. So that's like three times a day, but they're like spaced out. People are on at different times throughout the day. So, you know, I just want to make sure I'm getting everybody. I definitely think if you want to grow your social media accounts, you need to have somewhat of a strategy. I feel like Instagram is a little bit different now to where you could like post your reels at different times and it wouldn't really matter. But with TikTok, I feel like you just need to be consistent posting every single day to grow. So yeah. You guys, I'm so happy right now. I found my tripod. I've been looking for it everywhere or like been using this huge one i'm like this is not going to work so i found my little one and it also like molds like it moves around so it's really cool but yeah i'm so excited to be vlogging i would just like to know why my bed ends up like this <laughs> in the morning like i don't know if i'd be sleeping rough or whatever but it just i just think like, it should not be that messy <laughs> had these photos right here for months and I did have one hung up but it recently got loose because I only used velcro to hang it so I think I'm gonna need to use nails and there's two things right here so I'm gonna have to measure and put them up with some nails but aren't they so cute I like to say this is what my brain feels like because I have anxiety <laughs> and so I'm like it's perfect you know it represents me you guys it is so cold <laughs> Is literally freezing outside like if I thought it was winter before no now it's like getting winter winter and this weekend it's supposed to be like in the single digits and I'm just not ready for it to feed Cammy um and then I have to go run a couple errands so yeah I also just woke up from a nap she is so impatient pretty you're cheating! Get pretty! Oh, whatever. I'm putting on my gloves because I'm not playing with this cold. I already know my steering wheel is gonna be so cold. I think my hair looks crazy because I just woke up from a nap, but you know, it'd be like that. But we're taking this bag because it'll fit my camera inside of it. It's from 30 years and it is so cute it's like a puffer tote thing so we're taking this and let's go there's a slight change of plans um sorry if you guys can't hear me the heat is on in my car but i was going to go into target to get this really good ice cream that they have that has really good macros because i wanted something sweet and then i'm like it is freezing out here i cannot imagine myself eating ice cream so i literally drove by target and then i came back home because it's really close to my house so yeah, um, we won't be going to Target tonight, but we are gonna go home and make some dinner because I am starving. Okay, so I just chopped up some sweet potato and then I'm gonna eat this with chicken and broccoli that I already have prepped. So that's gonna be my dinner. I'm so excited, I'm so hungry. You know, I don't know if 
like my motivation could be any lower than it is in this very moment. Like I really want to go lay in my bed, but we're going to go bust out a workout. I'm already running late and I only have until like 6.30. So love that, but we're going to do what we can. We're doing back and buys today and I literally had to warm up my car because it's literally freezing outside. So yeah, we're going to get her done. So it's been a few hours. Actually, it's been like almost four hours <laughs> since I've talked to y'all. Um, I've just been working and editing. I think my strategy for YouTube is going to be like edit as I go. I really do love the editing process and that is the fun part for me. So I'm very impatient with waiting to edit. Like I don't want to have I don't want to just like record all my footage and then edit at the end of the week. I would rather edit as I go. So I've just been editing this vlog and now I am ice rolling. My time is just going by so fast this morning and I haven't even eaten my breakfast yet. I just came home, made a coffee, jumped on my computer, took care of Cammy, took her outside, fed her, just did all the things and I have not a breakfast yet so I need to make my breakfast. I'm gonna have the same thing that I had yesterday which is um, the cream of wheat and right now I'm really loving apples and cinnamon with it so I'm gonna make that and then continue working. This is probably gonna be my day up until I'm off work so I will catch up with y'all later. Uh, I don't know why this is so bright. How do I even... Okay, that's making it brighter. Okay. I'm gonna show you guys this product that I found at Target. It's a lippy and it's a lip plumper and it's tinted and it's from LA Girl. We know LA Girl got them good prices, okay? I just, I picked this up on a whim because I want to try it out and it says it moisturizes and plumps and it does just that. This is honestly amazing. Let me try it on for y'all so you can see just how good this is my lips were so dry actually okay so it tingles a little bit right but it's not that bad but it just gives my lips like the most beautiful like natural like pinky color i feel like it will make your lips like the perfect shade of pink for you for your skin tone so yeah, this this is good. I don't know exactly how much it was, but it's LA Girl, so it couldn't be like that much. So so if you guys need a little lippy or if you just want like a little plumper or something, I would definitely check this one out. I just ate a little bit ago. I ended up making some turkey bacon on the side because I wanted a little bit of protein, you know. I'm editing my second TikTok video. It's about to be noon, so I'm gonna go ahead and edit this and then post it. update you guys before I start driving because I don't have one of those fancy camera mounts for my car yet. I'm on my way to go meet my mom. Um, I have to pick up some medication from her. I don't know what I'm going to do after that, but we'll see. But right now I'm going there. That's about a 15 minute drive. So yeah, we're going to go do that. be a good t-shirt is that like the corn um thing 
so I just got back home um, my mom and I actually ended up going to Culver's and we ate some chicken fingers we just shared some and then we ended up going to Target literally just for fun because there's nothing else to do but we just went in there walked around looked around at some stuff we didn't even end up buying anything you know sometimes Target it's just it's just a fun activity you know I wanted to show you guys this because I've been wanting the Laneige um, sleeping mask for a while, the lip mask, and I saw this bomb and I was like, if I could get it in a tube form, I would prefer that over the little um, pot, which if I like this, I'll probably end up getting anyway. <laughs> um, also, Cammie is eating her dinner back there, so sorry about her little crunching noises. I got the Laneige lip glowy balm and it's the berry flavor look how the box came like i feel like they were just throwing this around everywhere but the tube itself looks okay yeah so this is like what the little tube thing looks like um so my lips are really dry right now so i figured it was a perfect time to kind of try it out this is a little applicator earlier it was like frozen in the tube so it's melted a little bit thankfully Oh my gosh, it smells so good. That smells incredible. Oh my gosh. It smells like nostalgic. It smells like candy or something, but it feels really good so far. I'm guessing the little pot version is thicker than this, but honestly, I really like the smell and it's not sticky, but it feels very, very moisturizing. So. I definitely think I'm a fan of this. I feel like I've been showing you guys lip products all day. But um, yeah, this is awesome. Again, it's the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. And it's in the berry flavor. They have like a bunch of different flavors. They have like vanilla and something else. I'm definitely going to throw this in my gym bag. Because my lips get so dry at the gym. So that'll be good to have. I think I am just going to like make some tea and start editing these clips from today. This is the most amazing hoodie that I think I own. It is from Abercrombie. It's called the Essentials hoodie and it's the unisex one. So I got it in this, I don't know what this is called. If this is pink, I don't know. It's like a pink maroony color. I don't know the exact name of the color that I got, but it's, I got it in an XL just so it would be like really, really oversized. And I absolutely love it. It is the comfiest sweater I own. I got it in this color, and then I also got it in a heather gray. So if you guys are looking for some basic steeple hoodies for your wardrobe, definitely check Abercrombie. I did get these on sale for Black Friday, because normally they're like $80 or something, but I got them on sale for like 40, which is an amazing deal, honestly. If they do have another sale, or even next year when they have Black Friday again, definitely check these out. Literally amazing and so, so comfortable. morning guys so it is currently 7 a.m i start my day really really early on wednesdays because i just work an hour earlier than normal so i've been working since 6 a.m and i got up at like 5 i was supposed to get up at 5 30 but i did snooze my alarm a few times so i ended up getting up at like 5 45 and then i had to obviously take care of cammy get her outside and feed her and stuff and then I started working. Allergies are actually on 10 this morning, so I sound stuffy. I always sound stuffy, but they're like really bad this morning. Like every time the weather changes a little bit, like it just recently started getting like cold, um, my allergies flare up. I am just working and I also edited two TikToks already. I went ahead and edited them so I won't have to worry about editing later and I can just kind of post them and stuff. Just being transparent with y'all, um, Wednesdays are my day where burnout usually hits and I just feel really, really tired and just ready to chill, <laughs> to be honest. So I don't know how eventful today's vlog will be, but 
um yeah i just i do a lot of stuff like sunday through wednesday and then thursday is usually my off day from my nine to five so i'm able to kind of like reset and then um luckily this weekend is a holiday weekend so it'll be a two-day weekend which is incredible i'm so freaking excited my mom and i are gonna go see the new avatar movie on christmas day so that'll be fun um cammy actually chewed my airpod which is so weird because she's not like a dog that chews up things but um i came downstairs and i just saw like this thing on the ground and i it didn't even look like an airpod that's how messed up it was but it doesn't look like she swallowed any of the pieces she just like chewed it up so um yeah that was super weird but um luckily i don't really use my airpods anymore since i got my beats headphones so i'm not i'm not that mad honestly but um yeah it's still it's still a little bit sucky you know so i'm just going to keep working for the day and probably take a nap after work today do some like house chores and stuff like that i started doing my laundry and i really need to finish that so that'll probably be on my agenda for either today or tomorrow <laughs> so it has been a while since i've talked to y'all but basically i took a nap and then i got some housework done just like i said i was going to i have to take this pile of laundry upstairs which is clean and put it away and then i am going to the gym early tomorrow so this is key to getting up early it's making sure everything is set making sure your bag is packed making sure your water is set i am charging my headphones and my mic because i am filming tomorrow so yeah if you want to become a 5 a.m person this is this is the key also my sweater got caught on my blinds the other day and it literally broke a piece off like this piece is supposed to go here so now i have to go get new blinds but yeah it's super annoying miss cammy miss cammy I feel like this couch is hers it's not even mine it is hers this is where she sleeps most of the time unless she feels like coming to bed with me but usually not because she thinks i'm a rough sleeper <laughs> so she doesn't want to sleep with me she's like okay you can go to bed now bye but yeah so i am gonna go upstairs and take a shower and then do my skincare and all that stuff and yeah So I just did my skincare and I put my hair in the ugliest little braid, but it literally doesn't matter because it's just <laughs> it's just to go to bed. So I'm going to head to bed. I have an early morning ahead of me tomorrow. So yeah, I will talk to you guys later. It is 7:14 right now, and I am getting ready to head to the gym. I was supposed to get up at 4 a.m. But that just did not happen. I snoozed my alarm probably about 10 times total and I just kept sleeping through. For some reason, like this time of year where it's like Christmas, New Year's time, my motivation is like, like, like that big, non-existent. I know it's going to come back, especially with the new year. I'm going to be freshly motivated, but it's hard because I do love getting up early to go to the gym. 
but I could not I could not get out of my bed this morning it was so warm and cozy in there and I just did not want to move so. so now I have to face the consequences of being in there with you know the 7 a.m.ers and stuff I like my 5 a.m. crowd I prefer them but you know it'll be fine whatever right now I'm just making some toast because I normally work out fasted if I go super super early because I don't want to eat that early but since it's a little bit later in the morning I'm kind of hungry already so I'm gonna eat some toast just to have some quick carbs in me and then I'm gonna drink an energy drink because I need any caffeine ASAP <laughs> gotta show you guys the fit before I leave so I'm wearing a rosewood oversized tee from Honor Active and then these charcoal leggings Honor Active I'm wearing my Nike RYZs and white Nike socks this jacket I have no idea I no idea where it's from and then um, this purse is from 30 years or a tote bag it's not a purse but yeah it does a little crossbody thing too how cute I feel like I like this a lot better because sometimes the shoulder strap will like slide down a little bit so this is a lot better for me and then I'm bringing my Stanley and yeah okay I actually changed my shoes because my Nike RYZs aren't very good for leg day I switched into these Nike Metcons because they have a flat sole so Kimmy says hello hi baby Ooh, big stretch big stretch package from one up nutrition these are my supplements for the month i figured we could do a little unboxing if you guys didn't know i do work with one up nutrition um their supplements are genuinely amazing like i used to think all protein powder was gritty and like disgusting and then i tried one up and now i put it in like coffee and smoothies and everything so it's so good they are so sweet they sent me a a big shaker bottle that is so nice. I already have this little one. And they sent me a pulse. I'm crying. That is so cute. Okay, on to the supplements. That is so nice of them. I got new creatine. This is the raspberry lemonade flavor. I have not tried this flavor yet. I've tried pineapple, watermelon, and unflavored. I'm really excited to try this one. I really liked the pineapple and the watermelon. So they have the best tasting creatine, y'all. Like, it doesn't even feel like you're drinking creatine. It tastes like juice to me. So, yeah, I got that. Got a refill of my Sydney Adams salted caramel protein. This is the most versatile protein powder ever, honestly. Like, you could put it in coffee and smoothies. And, like, you would think salted caramel doesn't go with, like, a fruit smoothie. But I swear, it's so good. So, I got a refill on that. And yeah, that is all the supplements that I got from 1UP. I am so excited. Thank you so much to everyone at 1UP for this shaker bottle. I'm so excited to use it. I'm going to close off this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me the last few days. Let me know any content that you guys want to see down below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.